So it's nighttime and my kids should be sleeping. As I mentioned in the last video, we're gonna be looking at uh, the Moto G4 here, unlocking its bootloader, putting custom recovery, custom mod on there, and then, uh, you know, making some custom images of our own that run some scripts for us that we need for a project. Uh, again, this is for a project that uh, we're gonna be putting one of these onto a drone to collect information as it flies around. And uh, originally we are working with a Raspberry Pi, but the phone should be able to do everything it needs and we don't need extra wires and units for batteries and GPS uh, units because it's all built into the phone. So hopefully the phone is all we need. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and work on unlocking the bootloader today. Uh, which will most likely void your warranty and um, I'm going over the Moto G today but as long as your phone is running fast boot which most Android phones do uh, the process should be similar uh, you know Samsung uses their own bootloader but most uh, Android devices uh, the majority of them I should say not even not most of them but the majority at least um, are running fast boot and uh, also, unlocking the bootloader will, in most cases, wipe the device, uh, so it's to prevent people from getting access to your personal data. So basically, it does a factory reset when you unlock it. Uh, Motorola is great about letting you unlock the phone, unlock the bootloader. Uh, you just have to go to their site, you know, create an account, and log in, and they'll give you instructions, which we're going to go over today. And, of course, it's going to be, again, void your warranty, but you just need to get a special code from them. But they let you unlock it, and so that's what we're going to do today. Okay, first things first, going to hook up the USB cable to my computer. The phone is on, I'm just going to hold down the power button and power off. And then to boot into the bootloader is a little different on each device, but on these Motorola devices, you're gonna hold down the volume down and uh, the power button. So let's wait, okay, it's shut off. Volume down, power down, wait a few seconds, let go of the power button, and there we go we're in the bootloader. So I'm working on a Linux system and by default Linux already has drivers in most cases built into the kernel for Android devices but you still need the tools to access it. Uh, in this case we're going to work with Fastboot and ADB. So on a Debian based system sudo apt install Fastboot and ADB. Go ahead and type in your super secret password and I already have both those installed and they're up to date. Now, depending on your user's permissions, you may have to run this as sudo or root. Uh, if you have proper permissions, you don't need to. But the way I have my system set up, I'm going to say sudo fastboot, uh, and then I'm gonna say devices, which will list all fastboot devices hooked to this computer. Go ahead and hit enter, and there you can see it's showing one device with a serial number there, and um, it's saying that's run fastboot. Now, if you have more than one Android device at its bootloader hooked up to the machine at once, it will list more than once, and that is the serial number for the device. Back on the screen of the phone, you can see we're in the fastboot, and it also lists the serial number there. So if you have more than one device, you can tell which one's which by the serial number and the output we had from the command on the screen. Okay, so again, I'm working with Motorola phone here. You have to go to the Motorola website. I'll put a link in the description of this video, and it'll give us instructions that we're about to go over to get the code for this phone to unlock it. And you're gonna have to get it uh, by running these commands and then paste them into the website, and they're gonna give you a code to unlock the phone. So the next command we're gonna run is sudo fastboot OEM get underscore unlock underscore data and that will give us this number here so what we need to do is take each one of these lines without the bootloader information at the beginning there and put it into a single string now you could just copy and paste each one of those lines and make it a single line but we're cooler than that right so we're going to do something a little cooler we're going to pipe it but you can't just pipe it so let's say I just wanted to pipe it and grab the uh, lines that say bootloader I can try to grep bootloader and you can see that didn't quite work because I got out of the lines and that's because this is coming as error out rather than standard out uh, on the output. So to fix that we need to uh, add to our line here Oops. and all this is saying right here is saying two greater than which is saying take the error out and ampersand one make it standard out then we put that into grep hit enter and now we only have lines that start with bootloader, or contain the word bootloader. Adding on to that command, we can now pipe it into op and say to only print the second column. And there you go, we have each line. We just need to put each 
of them that basically remove the new line character. So we're going to use sed to remove the new line character. And here is just a basic example of removing new line characters using sed. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And now our entire bootloader fast boot code here is all on one line. Or of course you could just copy and paste. Depends on how cool you are. And now for the moment of truth, we'll take the code that we just got, paste it into this line on the Motorola website and click the button, can my device be unlocked? Next, we're gonna to agree to their terms and request unlock key. It warns us that we're gonna void the warranty. Do we wanna continue? Are you sure? Okay. And now we patiently wait for the email to come. Oh wait, it's 2017, emails are almost instant. Let's check it now. And there it is. You can look at this code. It's gonna be different for your phone. It's not gonna work for you. You can go ahead and try if you would like. I guess I should have mentioned earlier, you can also on some devices, this is sudo fastboot OEM, whoa, OEM unlock. And that might unlock. Uh, but in this particular case, it doesn't because we need that code, but we do the same thing and add in the code that we were just emailed and hit enter. Oh, well, that didn't work. Time to do some Googling. Okay, Google told me to go into settings on the phone, go into developer mode, so I'm going to go into about phone, and I think it's the uh, kernel you click on a couple of times. No, maybe the build number. There we go seven times I think as you click it and when you go back out there's a developer mode you probably know this ah look at this OME unlock allow bootloader unlock enable okay so that was not available on uh, the Motorola instructions I don't remember having to do that on my previous phone but it's possible I did it's been two years since I <laughs> unlocked that phone uh, but it does not say that on the Motorola website so that's good to know you have to go into the settings on the phone enable developer options and enable OME unlock so let's now give it a try again so again we're going to turn the phone off power off also if you have ADB installed, or I'm sorry, enabled on the phone, you can reboot to the bootloader by doing ADB reboot uh, bootloader command on your computer. Now I'm going to hold down volume down, oh, let it finish shutting down, until I see battery symbol, okay, volume down, hold down the power button for a couple of seconds, until the screen goes black there, wait a few seconds, let go, and there we go, we're back at the bootloader. There's the error from last time, but let's try the same command again. sudo fastboot ome unlock and the code we got in our email. Cross our fingers. Yay! Bootloader phone is unlocked successfully. And right here on the phone, you can see devices unlocked status code 3. We should be good. I know you can't read this in the phone, but it says start right there. You can go through the options by hitting volumes up and down. And I'm just going to go ahead and click start to restart the phone, and this time we get a warning that the bootloader is unlocked. Well, that's it, the bootloader's unlocked, and that's the hardest thing. If you can unlock the bootloader on any Android device, you're, you're pretty much set. Um, so that's what we did here. Uh, warning, unlock new bootloader. Basically, makes it more like a desktop computer. So I can walk up to any desktop computer, plug in a, a flash drive, uh, put a CD-ROM in there, or, or even, you know, put a floppy drive in if there's a floppy into a floppy drive and boot from that device. And that's basically what unlocking the bootloader will allow people to do. So like, just like I can walk up to any Windows, Mac, or Linux machine, pop a Linux Live CD in, I now have full access to everything on the machine. It's kind of the same thing when you unlock the bootloader on the phone. The bootloader is locked so that you can't boot things other than what's already on the phone. Um, but having unlock gives you more freedom to be able to do those sort of things. And am I in focus? There we go. The, um, again, once you unlock it, it is going to wipe the phone. So that's to protect you. So anytime you lock or unlock the phone, uh, it's a bootloader. Well, I don't know if when you lock it, but anytime you unlock it, it's going to wipe out everything, all your personal data to prevent people from stealing it. Once it's unlocked, well, it, your phone is fair game. Uh, but it does give you more, more, uh, you know, things you can do with the phone, which is exactly what I need. Now you can make changes now and then relock it if you want, and a lot of people suggest that. But what I'm doing, it's going on a drone for testing. It's not gonna have any of my personal data in there. It's just gonna be used as a device. So I'm gonna leave it unlocked and continue watching. Again, this is the first in a series. We're next, we're gonna go looking into putting a custom recovery on this phone, then modifying the, um, the, the boot uh, sector on the phone, the boot partition, so that we can run our own scripts and do a few other fun things. So continue watching. If you enjoyed it, please, uh, you know, 
subscribe, comment below if you enjoyed this. Be sure to like it and share it. Thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description there. You can support me in the support section using PayPal, or you can support me through Patreon, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There's a link to that in the description as well. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Oh, and be sure to check out the link in the description to the full playlist. If a video is not available, that means it hasn't been published yet. It will be. Just keep coming back. Subscribe, and then you'll know. Have a great day.